What's up? So you may not know me and you wanna be a streamer and you might be thinking, hey, you are not a streamer, which is true. I don't I don't stream anything. Recently, I've been alerted to something kind of cool and I think it will help out streamers everywhere. And especially you, if you don't have a good computer, then yeah, this is definitely gonna help you out. If you don't have a good computer that you can stream on and you're like, hey, I need a capture card and like all these games that my computer needs to run. Yeah, you don't need a PC for this one. I'm gonna be using this uh, this MacBook right here. And as we know, MacBooks aren't the best at video gaming. So this is gonna be pretty interesting. By the way, as a little disclaimer, there's not a lot of games on the service yet, but there's gonna be more and more. You'll see what I'm referring to a little later. Now let's get into how to stream. If you want to join this community of like pretty cool tech people, I think, and a lot of times people in comments help me out about stuff I didn't even know, like the Widgie app. The developer actually reached out to me and was telling me stuff that I didn't even know about the app. So if you want to join this really awesome community of only about 2,000 people, uh, click that subscribe button down below and click that bell icon. Actually, I don't really care if you click the bell icon. Just be sure to see when my videos get posted and stuff like that. So recently I got an email saying, hey Tommy, check out Melon. Um, you may be thinking, is this sponsored? Well, kind of, but not really. And I wouldn't accept it if I didn't like the service. Just keep that in mind. So we're gonna check out Melon by Logitech Streamlabs. Now, one of their like main points that they go for is you can go live within five clicks, which I know that for a lot of people who are starting to stream, it's kind of like a daunting task and there's kind of a lot of roadblocks that you need to get through. With how seamless the service is, you'll be able to get up and running really fast, especially if you don't have a really good gaming computer, just like a MacBook or even like an old computer. Basically, as long as it has web access you can stream from it and the thing about the service that i'm going over right now called melon is you can go live on facebook youtube twitch it's really got all the services for you and it can even do all of them at the same time if you really want to now why this works so well um, and so fast even if you don't have a powerful computer is because it's cloud-based so it actually sends your video stream over to like a, a computer somewhere else and then streams it from there. So all that your computer has to do is just say, this is the video, send it over. Um, this is your screen, send it over. And it does that all really quickly. It allows you to do up to 1080p streams, which is pretty high quality. You can host private meetings and you can schedule times for you to stream, which is kind of nice if you're trying to get big on Twitch and stuff like that. It even has an ability to record offline and online, which is crazy for a web-based service. But yeah, keep in mind that hey if you if I helped you out a little bit you should go and click the link down below you can sign up for the melon service it's completely free and that's gonna be the main way that I'm gonna teach you how to stream there are other services such as OBS the issue with those is that if you don't have a powerful computer or you don't want to waste your computer resources just get melon because it'll it'll just stream it over to another server and your computer doesn't have to worry about handling all the processing and everything like that the second part to this is something called Google Stadia now what Google Stadia is, is much like Melon, it's a cloud-based streaming platform, but instead a video game is played on a server somewhere else and then streamed to your computer. So when you input controls and commands like through a remote or through your keyboard, it sends them back to that computer and you can basically play the video game without having to have any like drop frames or anything. And it's actually the main way a lot of people are playing Cyberpunk now. And I also have a code but this is not sponsored. I have a code below um, where you can sign up and I think receive like a little gift from me. Okay, so if we look at my computer desktop here, you can see that it's a M1 MacBook. So it is kind of a faster MacBook, but your speed doesn't really matter of the computer. I'm just showing you this just to show you that this isn't a super powerful computer, um, at least not in the gaming aspects. So I'm just gonna open up my web browser here and we're gonna go to something called Google Stadia something I talked about a little bit earlier. So we head over to Google Stadia. It says, welcome to Stadia, click to play. And with Google Stadia, we can just sign in. And it is a service that does cost $10 a month. Do keep that in mind, or you can buy a video game and you keep it forever. So now that we're in Stadia, we have all my games right here. So I'm gonna click to play Grid. Um, now this is a racing game, right? So now that we're in Grid, I'm gonna wanna hit Escape just to get out of the grid menu right here. Head over to melonapp.com. Now with melonapp.com, you can log in. I do have a pro account, so I do get a little bit more features than everyone else, but for the most part, it's not too crazy. So now that I'm logged into Melon, I can see that I have different options for 
what I want my background to be and all that kind of stuff. Okay, well, um, since I'm recording my screen, it looks like my computer isn't showing up for a video input, but do keep in mind that you can add your webcam to this little service right here. I'll pop that up on the screen of what that would look like normally, but it does have my audio. So now we can go and hit share screen and then we can just do like a certain application window. So we're gonna wanna add Stadia to that. We hit share. And so now the, the Melon live streaming service can see that. So now we hit show on stream right here and it can see that window. So we are gonna hit go live and we can go live to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and it's got all these other options and it even has a custom option. So if your service isn't listed, you can still get it up and running right there. So now that we're streaming, we can actually head back into Grid or any of the games on Google Stadia. You can hit back to game. And do keep in mind that your internet does have to be kind of a fast on the faster side to do a lot of this stuff. But if you're trying to stream, then you're definitely gonna want a faster internet speed anyway, so people can get clearer aspect ratios and visuals. So if you look here, we can play a little game and you can see that there's really no input lag at all. I mean, I don't really feel anything different than if I was to play it um, on my computer or online like this. And this whole time I can be streaming with my webcam on so other people can see me. And so you see that we have all this going and then um, just to show the input lag, there's really nothing. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's no input lag at all. Uh, I may not be the best at, <laughs> the best at this game. Um, and there we go, right into the wall. That is why I'm not a streamer. But that's fine. So we quit. We got everything. We got everything good to go. We can leave this. Leave game. There we go. And now your streaming journey continues. And Google Stadia is definitely really, really good. Again, be sure to use my link down below. You could also add me as a friend on Google Stadia. All you gotta do is just go to the referral link down below and put in like 10 bucks and that'll be really good uh, if you're trying to stream games. Um, keep in mind that I don't think Fortnite is on here, which is probably a big one that people stream. Or like, I was kind of bummed GTA is not on here, but there are talks. But you do get like Player Unknown Battlegrounds, Hitman. There's uh, there's actually a lot of games that you would not expect to be on here. So I would definitely check it out and try and do like a free trial of it because they do have that option. And if you want to stream, be sure to hook it up to Melon. Again, you can click my referral link down below too. And you can do a free account, which is pretty nice. You get access to all of this stuff. And yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope if you're trying to stream that that journey goes pretty well for you and it definitely will be a lot smoother pro of a process for you if you do use some of these tips. Again, I'm not a streamer, so don't take these as like a streamer's advice and stuff like that. Wait, thank you for sticking around. I didn't think you would stick around just because, you know, it's kind of a long video. I get it, I get it. You had to go. It's fine though, or you didn't have to go. Sorry, but other people I get, they had to go. Um, but you might want to see a little bit more of something that I think you'll find pretty interesting. And it's this video right here. Now you may be like, Tommy, you don't even know what that video is. Of course I know what that video is. It's picked out just for you. Uh, not by me, by YouTube, but it's picked out just for you. So you probably want to